Hello everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome back to my channel. I have a giant Shop Disney box on my copy stand, just for the intro. Um, so yeah, um, let's get into it. I know I said I didn't want to give Disney my money and that I would probably cave the Halloween season. This is true. Um, this was a freebie. This is the Goofy 90 key and uh, it just came with my order. And now, of course, <laughs> they are giving out Madame Leota keys a week after my order, which is just typical. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like. Can't really take it out, can I? Can I? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't really take these things into account. Let me find some scissors. Let me tell you, you need some seriously fine point scissors to get that thing out um, without risking scratching it up. Uh, I have these guys from Suster and Grene. They were less than six euros. I know they look like garden scissors, but they're not. Um, yeah, those are really good for fine detail things because that is the kind of thing I would loathe to use a knife for because it's just so easy to cut into your hands. But that's it. This is the key. It's super fun. And if you're a goofy fan, this is this is great to have. And the back is just the same thing, but you know, mirrored. Um, yeah. So then you have to turn it like this. Oops, nearly out of frame. But yeah, it's, it's super fun. And what I like to do is I like to attach a little bit of twine or like tread whatever I have lying around that works and then I have a Christmas ornament so that's probably what's going to happen to this guy as well. So let's see what we have next. Next up is this tote bag. It's um it's just one of those I know they're not good for the environment but I I just wanted one because I don't really have a lot of Halloween tote bags so I figured I'll just get this. And as you can see, it's because they folded it to put it in a box, which is totally fair. It's already gotten super wrinkled and you will see that at some point it's gonna burst and start, you know, the, the quality has just gone really downhill. They used to be quite all right because I've had a few that I bought when I first started doing them. Gosh, I think back in 2009 and I still have them and those are like proper like made to last, but the more this is a thing, the more the quality goes down and of course the price goes up. Um, this wasn't super expensive, this was two euros, but I expected it to be a bit bigger because this is really small, it does not have an interior pocket. Um, so yeah, this is just a really crap quality. Don't make my mistake and don't buy this because this is literally not gonna last ages. I mean, I, I might get a couple of years use out of it if I only use it during the Halloween season, but um, yeah, just do not recommend. I'm just being completely honest. The artwork is fun though. I like the artwork. Jack and Zero and Sally with her uh, her cat on the other side. Um, yeah, at least I think that's a cat. I hope it's a cat. I don't know. It's like <laughs> not very clearly drawn and she looks really sad. Um, so I, I like the Jack side better. Um, but yeah, just just a fair warning. Don't make my mistakes. Don't purchase it. I did get another bag as well for pretty much the same reason. And um, yeah, this was... I left the tag on. Does it have a price? Of course not, that would have been too easy. I'll look it up. Um, but yeah, it's all these sort of fake lenticular print. Turn that round. But yeah, so like I said, fake lenticular print. It's not actually lenticular. Um, I quite like the idea of it. This sort of nylon is actually, if it's still the same one, better quality than you think it is because Disneyland Paris used to do bags in this fabric back in 2008 and I had a few of them and um, the actual bags didn't really die on me but the handles ended up ripping off so um, that's the way the bags ended up going and um, the fabric itself was quite good of course again if this breaks it's gonna be really bad for the environment so Maybe don't get this either if you really care about the environment. Um, I'm only going to use this in the Halloween season, so I'm thinking this will probably last me for ages. Um, 
And the only reason I only want to use it during the Halloween season, because I'm a Halloween year-round kind of gal, is because of the material it's made out of. If I use this throughout the year, all the time, it will be dead in like a year, year and a half tops. So I'm trying to avoid that. Um, it has inside print. Both sides are the same. It's kind of hard to open on a copy stand. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it has Skellington Jack looking a very devious. It does not have an inside pocket. It also does not have a zipper. I had kind of hoped it would at least have had a zipper. Uh, it doesn't, but you know, it'll it'll be fun coming Halloween season. But yeah, I'm, I'm not happy about the back quality at all. Then I have another set of keys. It was super cheap. It was mega discounted. So I grabbed it. And these are the Hocus Pocus keys. I love Hocus Pocus. I'm super excited for Hocus Pocus 2 coming to Disney Plus. What is it? September 30th? I'm so here for it. This is going to be slightly easier to undo because these, ba these binds are not as tight. Um, but yeah. So same thing as with the goofy one, the print is, you know, the same if you turn it around. Um, and yeah, this has Binks on it. I love Binks so much. He's so sassy, such a good cat. Love him. So here's that one. And then the other one has the Sanderson sisters. Um, I don't really like the way Disney draws them, but this is still a really good key. Love that spiderweb detail. Um, yeah, so good. But too bad it's not book and it's not like an eye in here, but uh, yeah, it also has the black flame candle right there. Not sure if this will show up, but let's give it a go. Yeah, I mean, I like it well enough and <laughs> I will turn these into ornaments for my uh, spook mystery. I would advise against turning these into keychains because they're not very sturdy. They bend really, really easily. And if you put some pressure behind it, you will snap them. Um, so yeah, they would be rubbish keychains. Keychains, words. <laughs> they would not survive. And then I have two more things and they're both display pieces. Well, one is an ornament, but I'm gonna use them as display pieces. For the most part, I might hang it up in my tree. Okay, I'm gonna recycle that elastic. I like this, it's kind of like egg gardens. <laughs> but this, I mean, I had to have it. I flippin' love zero. I mean, I even have a zero tattoo, but this is a sketchbook ornament and um, I'm going to liberate it from its packaging so I can show it properly. And so here we go. What I like about these sketchbook ornaments is that they do have a bit of, well, string, uh, ribbon to put them on, uh, well, up on your tree. But as you can see, they also have this tiny lobster clasp. So you can remove it as well if you just want to put it in a display case, which is what I'm going to do. And look at him. He's so precious. He's sitting around a a jack-o'-lantern says Halloween Town and look at that happy smiley face. I love Zero so much. This is so detailed. I think it might actually light up because I see a switch. Yeah, look. Jack-o'-lantern lights up. This is such a, such a nice detail. All the little detailings in, um, in the bottom of it. So good. I love this so, so much. Does it turn off? Um, but yeah, super happy with this. I love these. Um, I've got a Lock, Shock and Barrel one, um, but that doesn't light up, but it's also super detailed. So I'm happy to add him to my collection. And he's small, meaning I can get a fair few in my display case as well. And then my final item also comes in a cardboard box. Oh no, styrofoam. I have to be super careful. So none gets away, so it can't get eaten by my cats. So I wish they would start to pack all of the things in uh, the little egg box type packaging, so to speak, because it's way better for the environment than styrofoam. Also, so much plastic. 
I will say I feel like in this order I got a little bit less plastic waste than I'm used to from Shop Disney, so there's that at least. So this is a trinket tray. I'm not entirely sure how trinket tray it is because there's not that much space to put stuff in. I just think it's a cute statue of Lock, Shock and Barrel in their little bathtub. Um, yeah, it has these little tabby things so it can sit without damaging or like damaging the bottom. Um, and yeah, look how detailed this is. I love it. And this is the back. It's not as finely detailed as a sketchbook ornament, but I still adore it. I love Lock, Shock and Barrels. Got quite a few Lock, Shock and Barrel things. Um, but yeah, super happy with this. So yeah, um, that's it really. That's all I got. It's just a small haul. But yeah, let's recap. And that was everything I got, just like six items. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do apologize for the chaos. I've changed things around in my studio for a bit to make it a little bit better suited to the summer temperatures, which have been heat wave boiling for the most parts. And uh, I did it in a way where I couldn't actually set up again for videos where I show my face and those are better suited for showing bags and stuff. Um, so yeah, hence the copyright chaos. I hope it wasn't too much of a bother. Uh, it's only temporarily, just like any other summer induced problem. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway, after all, um, despite of it all. What was your favorite item? Mine is definitely the Zero uh, sketchbook ornament. I love this as well, but this is definitely my favorite. Are we item twins? Did you see anything you would like to add to your collection? Avoid the bags, guys, seriously. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Subscribe if you want to stick around for more shenanigans in motion. I swear I'm not usually this chaotic, but my brain is officially boiled from the heat. Um, hit that notification bell so YouTube hopefully, hopefully actually notifies you when I've uploaded a new video. Um, yeah, there will be cats as soon as I stop talking because Disney, I will give him that, always ships in these really elaborate boxes with fun print on the inside and outside and uh, Kiwi is doing her best to showcase at least the inside of the box. So um, there's that. Um, and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!